At 1.24 in the morning on March 18, 1990, while St. Patty's Day festivities continued in Boston, two thieves posing as police officers entered the Isabella Stewart Garden Museum and performed the biggest art heist in American history. The thieves stole what seemed to be a random assortment of 13 items. They took works like Rembrandt's only known seascape as well as Vermeer's The Concert, which was one of the earliest acquired works in Gardner's collection but left what is probably the single most expensive item in the museum untouched, a work by Renaissance painter Titian. The thieves remained in the museum for a total of 81 minutes and got away with what is estimated to be $500 million worth of artwork. The case remains unsolved, though the FBI did declare in 2015 that the suspects are dead. And conspirators range from the Italian mob to the IRA to a security guard on duty that night and art thief Miles Conn who actually used a Rembrandt painting to shorten a prison sentence once. Gardner stated in her will that she intended for her art collection to be enjoyed by the public for education and entertainment. We can imagine how saddened she'd be to see multiple empty frames throughout the museum where these masterpieces once sat. A $10 million reward is still in place for any information leading to the recovery of any of these pieces. Don't forget to like and follow and let me know if you want part two.